the slice tool is used to create panel decals, which are all quad decal strips. To use it, you need to select exactly two objects that aren't decals themselves. Then, bring up the pie menu and choose Slice, or press D and S in sequence. The objects need to intersect, otherwise a warning will be shown. A successful slice will produce a result like this, an all-quad decal strip, at the intersection of the two objects. Like projected decals, panel decals cannot be moved, scaled or rotated. They are not supposed to be transformed. As demoed in the adjust video, you can change the panel width, as well as the material used for the decal. You can also use the Get Backup tool, to retrieve the cutter used for the slicing. Note, that if you use the Adjust tool to change the panel width, or the panel material, Decal Machine will remember your choice and use the same settings for the next slice. You can see in the Pie menu, how the default panel width has been updated, from the default 0.04. You can also tell from the object name in the top left corner, what kind of panel material this is. I'm changing the width and the material once more, retrieve the cutter, and slice again. And as you can see, it's the same as the previous panel decal. Watch the sweep edges, when I slice this example. They are perfectly perpendicular to the direction of the panel strip, and are all the same length. Slice has an alternative mode, you can access by holding down the Alt key. I refer to it as topo slice, because the resulting panel decal, will follow the topology of the object you are slicing. This is especially useful for low poly models and simple geometry in general. For sharp corners like this, the normal slice will produce uneven panel widths, despite the individual sweep edges being the same length. Topo slice solves this better, but notice how the shading is off. That's due to the normal transfer, which tries to smooth across the cube's hard edges. So I'm disabling it here. Here's another case, where topo slice is a better choice, for obvious reasons. And again, I'm disabling the normal transfer. Notice, that while topo slice handles the sharp corners better, it doesn't produce constant panel widths, if the cutter hits the surface at an angle, as was the case here. This cutter is not placed optimally. You should try to make an effort, and avoid weird intersections like this, if you can. Topo slicing this, will result in vertex overshoots, which look like this. Interestingly, this panel decal is still made from perfect quad geometry. Internally, what decal machine did, was attempt to iteratively slice this with all quad polygons, using an increasingly smaller panel width. It succeeded at a width like this. Notice the angle of those two sweep edges to each other. If you now increase the width again, which is what Topo Slice did, you can see how that causes the overshooting vertices. The normal slice mode handles this situation very nicely. There's only a small issue of two sweep edges being too close together, which I'll talk about in a second. For now, I'll just remove one of the edges. For this example here, there's really only one solution to make it work. And that is, topo slice it with a low enough panel width. I hope by now, you understand why topo slice is not a good choice here. You would need very good placement to avoid vertex overshoots. So the normal slice mode it is. But you can tweak its behavior as well. If you want to avoid sweep edges getting too close to each other, you can slice with the shift key pressed, which will smooth out the panel decal, and so even out the sweep edge distances to each other a bit. On curved geometry like this, shift slicing is almost always what you want to do. Again, I'm slicing without shift first, and you can see sweep edges being too close here as well. I then slice with shift pressed, and as expected, the edges are much better distributed.
you can do slices resulting in multiple panel strips, although I still keep them as single objects. In this example you can see very well in advance, how the intersection is jagged. And so the panel decal will be as well. Topo slice isn't any better either. In fact, I'd say it's worse. But shift slicing fixes it well enough. This case is shift sliced as well, since these are carelessly intersecting curved objects. And the result is great. There is one more way to modify slice behavior, if you hold down the control key. Not only will the panel decal be smoothed, it will also get additional sweep edges. It doubles the polygon density. This can be helpful to better conform to some surfaces. Sometimes, whatever you try, the panel decal may not quite come out as you want. And you should never shy away from manually fixing these issues. You can add and remove geometry without any issues. Just keep it all quads. Also, after you have modified the panel geometry, you should always run decal machine's unwrap tool. Let me show that again. This time, the modification is a bit more involved. Still, very easy to do, and probably, easier than preparing the cutter in advance to produce the same result. Now notice the UV update. You can also run the unwrap tool, with the alt key pressed, which will shrinkwrap the panel geometry to the underlying surface. This way, you can be very lazy while editing the decal mesh, no need to surface snap etc. Simple planes and non-manifold geometry in general, can be used to slice as well. Including for non-cyclic panel decals. This is true for topo slice as well but you can still run into the usual issues with that. You can even slice on single polygons, which in turn produces single polygon panel decals. And here's a bit of a stress test. Notice the resolution on that sphere. Remember how I described that Topo Slice will try to increasingly lower the panel width, until it successfully finds an all-quad panel strip. It actually only tries that for 10 times in a row, and when the 10th attempt fails, it will let you know. Shift Slicing works flawlessly. Imagine having to do this cut in those bevels in the mesh. Finally, if you are working with panel decals, you may want to intersect two panel strips. There will be a specialized tool for this, soon after the initial 1.8 release, but till then, here is how you do it manually. First, knife cut along the panel decal. Remove what you don't need, and slide the end verts into place. Scale them down to a tenth or so, of the original distance, and fix the UVs using the unwrap tool again. Instead of sliding the end verts into place, you can also make a second knife cut. The slice tool has undergone a complete rewrite, and compared to slice in previous decal machine versions, I think it's very dependable now.